forecast is a wet one. So we're talking about soggy conditions, high winds, cool temperatures, a lot going on for April and definitely not feeling like spring. I'm Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis. Let's go ahead and take a look at our harbor camp. Looking at Harbor Island, you have the palm trees that are moving in the wind as well as a dreary condition and some raindrops on the camera. 62 degrees for downtown. We also have winds out of the south at 10 miles per hour and relative humidity is high at 90%. We have a lot of onshore flow pushing through and that's what's steering in those clouds in our direction. Rounds of rain that will stay in the forecast. Current wind speed at 19 miles per hour for Borrego Springs, 10 miles per hour for Chula Vista, as well as for downtown and Sill Hill, 14 miles per hour with winds out of the south for Campo. The gust has been picking up today as well. We're in the 20s for Boulevard, the same for Borrego Springs, Escondido at 20 miles per hour, 13 now for El Cajon. Chula Vista is at 19 and 18 miles per hour in Del Mar. So we're looking at rain in the forecast at least through Thursday. Models even hinting we could see it through Friday morning. Isolated thunderstorms cannot be ruled out tomorrow and I'll show you why coming up as well as snowy conditions for our, our local mountains and advisory may be needed. One is not in play right now. We do have a winter storm warning in play and that is for north of us. Riverside San Bernardino. Big Bear could see three feet of snow and those chances are looking very likely. Over the past 24 hours, we have had rain in more than a half an inch for Carlsbad, the same for Valley Center and at 0.79 inches for Oceanside. More than an inch and a half for Birch Hill and then we've seen hundreds of an inch for Santee, La Mesa and Chula Vista. So we're still looking at rounds of rain, light shower activity right now for Escondido but it's picking up a little bit more momentum. You see those yellow spots, those are heavier pockets. That's going to move on shore a lot of this moisture is moving in right from the Pacific and at the surface we have a front that's moving through. So because of that we're keeping concerns elevated. Flash flood watch and play by tomorrow morning all the way through Wednesday night. So as I mentioned we're not done just yet. We're just getting started. Area of low pressure is right off the central California coast. It will move over us by Wednesday morning and that is why we are looking at a chance for thunderstorms through Wednesday afternoon with the heating of the day and that added instability. We're keeping rain in the forecast cast through Friday. It will be a drier Easter weekend and also warming up by next week as well as drier conditions all across the board. I'll go ahead and send it back to you. All right, Carlene, we're in it now.